Folks, today we're going to talk about the Bosch heat pump. The last couple years I've had a lot of opportunity to put in water source units and what customers are seeing, they're seeing Hydrotech, they're seeing Florida heat pump, they're seeing First Call. I put in all of those particular systems, but right now, in my opinion, the Bosch heat pump is the best thing going. They bought Florida heat pump out about five or six years ago. They took the Florida heat pump and actually increased the efficiency and increased the integrity of the equipment by at least 20%. They added all kinds of extra features. One of them is this stainless steel cabinet. The stainless steel cabinet will last forever. Nothing I want to show you is they have brass fittings for the uh, stainless steel water source lines that we go in. And I want you to notice something. You have water in and you have water out. It's very important that you know how to hook those up correctly. Some of the uh, features of this particular system is it has a built-in float switch right here from the factory. Now we normally set ours in a pan. We never set ours on the floor. We'll set ours in a pan and I'll do a video later on that. We set them on styrofoam blocks because what we're trying to do is insulate sound from the customer. This right here, the fan itself, here's the coil. The coil is coated. You notice the coil's got the light screen tote. That way it doesn't oxidize and cause that chemical reaction with the cold water going through it from the cooling tower. This particular system is going to be on a cooling tower system instead of your geothermal that you can set into a residential property or some commercial properties. This here is a standard PSC motor, okay? If you want to look down at the top of it, it's nothing special here, just a regular motor. PSC means permanent split capacitor, okay? Now you can, with this option, get an ECM motor. ECM motor is an electronic commutative motor that will be set at a certain speed, like this particular unit here is three ton, so it can be set up for 1200 CFM, and actually we can buy it for 1000 CFM. Another feature I want to show you here is, it's, this is electronics. It's really very simple. It's only got majorly the electronic circuit board here, but it's just standard parts for us technicians and us folks that knows how to work on this stuff in the field. And here's something I would definitely like to show you and point out here. You know what? Let me come to this other side, guys. Hold on. I'm going to take this out. I want to show you. The here's the filter rack, by the way. And see, here's a nice, nice review of the coil. This particular unit takes a filter. I think it's 24 by 30. Once again, it's all stainless steel. Now, nothing about these Bosch units, they make them accessible to work on. You have to actually get to it. You can actually get to it and work on it. Another thing I want to point out is, is the half inch um, insulation that goes in here. It actually helps not only insulate the equipment from sweating, but helps insulate the sound. You can actually get closed cell foam if you want to do a special uh, feature on that. You can close cell foam. You can also get a compressor blanket if you want that. They have several other features. I want to show you how this works. Now, if you look right here at the compressor, while well, I was talking about how quiet it is, you got a rubber, rubber foot, a rubber pad underneath it. Then you have rubber grommets between the compressor and this uh, floor. So you have rubber here, rubber here, and then this itself is a scroll compressor. One th other thing I want to point out to you, this is a what we call a water source heat pump. Water source heat pump is going to do both cooling and uh, heat. Right here is the reversing valve. There's the reversing valve. Okay, now let's, let's talk about how this stuff works. Once again, water comes in from your cooling tower or your geothermal uh, system that you got at residential. It comes in, it circles through here. The water goes through this coil and it circles inside this coil all the way through. Now what you've got inside this coil, if you notice here, is refrigeration. So your water is circulating around this coil, picking up heat or adding heat depending on if you got on heated cooling mode and the refrigeration is taking the heat from the uh, water. So what I'm really saying here, the water may come in at 60 degrees it goes out at 70 degrees. Here is your ex heat exchanger right here, your coil, okay? 
You know, folks, I put in about 100 of these things in the last five years. I have had zero service calls with this thing. This thing is like bulletproof. My guys don't even know how to work on them really thoroughly because they never break down. We're going to put everything on our website about the Bosch heat pumps. If you have any questions, just go to jonesairconditioning.com, look it up, review everything, go to the Bosch website, call somebody that really knows what they're doing, and, and install it correctly. That's really what it's all about. One thing I want to point out, for us folks that's been into HVAC for 20, 30 years, you know, it's time for us to pick out somebody and bring them in, and let's teach them this trade and teach them this industry. This industry is growing rapidly, and we've got to have good quality people out there that's got good quality training. That's very important to this industry. Thank you.